Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Sunday the 24th of May and it is an absolute glorious beautiful sunny day down here in Cornwall. Today is a bit of a go 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 kind of day um, which actually I'm not gonna lie is how I like it. Lots to do, lots of fun to be had, memories to be created and a lot of video content so I'm filming multiple different things today but they all tie in quite well together so I thought I may as well do it all in one go. So today is involving Spritey Woo, isn't it Spritey? Are you being involved today? So we've got a Dressage Riders Online video to record which will be Sprite's first ever dressage test online, never done that before. So over the past few weeks I've been working really hard to get my arena, grass arena up the top, marked out with my letters, dad's been in and topped it, he's then, then Chris has come up and mowed it with a lawnmower so it's looking really really smart up there now how it used to look actually when i was mainly riding sprite before i had lola um, and it's quite nice to have it all looking all looking good again doesn't it yes yes so we've got that to film dressage test to film there is a veteran class that i think obviously sprite being 25 would be absolutely ideal for we're also filming today a trot up. So you've probably already seen that virtual eventing has gone live by the time I'll get this out. Not quite sure when this is gonna be out because I want to wait for the Dressage Riders Online results to be back, which is on the 28th of each month. So yes, we're doing a trot up today for virtual eventing. So if you've watched any of the previous ones, we've been picking out the hats about dressage show jumping cross country, but this time we've decided to do it as a three day format, which obviously requires a trot up. A trot up? which we've never done together before, have we? I've done a couple with Lola, but never have I done one with Sprite, so I was 100% gonna be doing it with Spritey. Um, I tidied up her tail the other day, so that's now looking all smart. She desperately needs a bath, so we're gonna bath her now, um, and then we've gotta get you plaited, haven't we? And we haven't plaited Spritey for a long, long time. Oh, actually, probably quadrille was the last time we plaited you. But still, that is a very long time ago. So a lot of first for Sprite and I today. I always think, oh, you're getting a bit impatient, aren't you? Obviously, I've done quite a lot with Spritey, but today we are going to be doing a trot up for the first time, Dressage Riders Online video for the first time. And yeah, super exciting to be all involved with Spritey. It's bless Chris, he's coming over shortly so i need to get on and get her bathed like now because i said that she'd be bathed by the time he got here and he's going to come over and film everything for me so huge thank you to him sprite was obviously going to be all plaited up i thought that would be a really good time to do our dressage riders online let's get on with it very fun filled afternoon awaits and i honestly i'm just i'm like a little kid at christmas i'm so excited silly not going absolutely anywhere but everything that we're going to do from home and i'm really really excited arena thankfully my mum is very obsessed with her garden and absolutely loves flowers loves pots loves plants so I thought why not take that up there that make it all look a bit fancy 
going to go load them up into my car now, find out from mum which ones I'm allowed to take. <laughs> Dry rug. I'm going to go get a towel and I totally forgot that I had this. So you can get the rugs and everything in these. This was something I was very kindly gifted at Olympia. And obviously we haven't been venting or bathing, so I haven't actually used it yet. But, oh, dry your face at least, can't we? walking up there but now up to the top of field spidey is all looking absolutely gorgeous plats are in not gonna lie oh i really am out of breath um i haven't obviously uh, 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 haven't done them for quite a few months and i am a bit out of practice and i am a bit of a perfectionist so has annoyed me a little bit but never mind it doesn't matter um i think the platting tutorial will be done another time because i just am not how could yeah i'm just not pleased with them um, and our course markers aren't brilliant either. I think she's gone really fluffy after being bathed and like, I don't know whether being a bit older, but her full summer coat isn't yet three, so it's just not really sat very well, but never mind. She's still looking gorgeous. And now time with the plant pots to do our trot up and then the bandages are here. Dressage wraps to do our dressage riders online test. You look super sexy, aren't you? She's ready. The boots are on, saddles on, and they're having a picnic, which is not ideal before we're about to do a test spray is it? But you do look proper sexy. <laughs> it's the time now to jump on, warm up, and go through our dressage riders online test. So as previous, when I've done this before, I give myself two opportunities, go through the test fully twice, and then pick out of those two which one I think is better got my gloves in my pocket I just thought then my hand was bare I have got my gloves in my pocket to put them on 
So time to warm Spritey up. I am entering this time, because obviously Spritey is the grand old age of 25, we're entering the veteran class. We were going to do one that is equivalent to a novice test, but I went through that up here the other day and of course I am on grass. She is 25 and doing like medium canter, medium trot, or attempting to, should I say. Um, I just felt it was a little bit too much on my legs, so I've decided to go for a prelim, walk, trot and canter, both reins, 20 metre circles, which hopefully she should do no problem. But yeah, we have got the boots on, we'll wear dressage wraps to help protect those leggies. Before each test, I always canter down the long side on Spritey and then pick up trot before I turn down the centre line. I always find that it just gives her more expression and bounce within her trot so that we get a really positive forward going centre line. Now, this is our first test run through, um, but we actually, well, no, we didn't at all. It wasn't Spritey's fault. We had a bit of a sat nav error, so I'm just going to skip a load of the test we came around this corner and at this point I'm literally thinking I don't know where I'm going I don't know whether I'm meant to be cantering my trotting I'm not sure uh we'll just stop <laughs> Attempt number two. So we've just done the same again, canter down the long side, and that has then given us a straight and positive entry, words of the judge, and they scored us an eight. Bless her. I just love watching her go round. She gives me goosebumps. So then we trot around the long side down to A, and this is where Sprite just was getting a couple of times low in the pole. So the judge gave us a 6.5 for that. That is actually something that we used to struggle with. Um, and she used to go over bent an awful lot more than what she is now. Then we start to half 20 meter circle. And then over X, we do a walk transition. And she just does that so sweetly and smoothly. And we got awarded an eight for it. Then another half 20 metre circle. The judge said that it was a pleasing rhythm and scored us a seven. Now around this corner here, the camera doesn't really show it, but it's actually a bit more of a downhill. And that's where I can feel maybe Spritey's age a little bit. So I just let her do whatever she wants to do around that corner. And um, for the change of rain, we got a seven. But the majority of the change of rain, we were active, as the judge said. Transition to canter was obedient transition and we got an eight for that one. Coming down to C where we pick up, where we start a 20 meter circle. And as the judge said, could have a little bit more suppleness, which I totally agree. Again, we're up this part of the arena where it's on a bit of a downhill, but unfortunately the camera doesn't really show it. So just a little bit struggling around there but pleasing steps, as the judge said. Nice transition back down to trot. We scored a 7.5 and the judge said, well balanced. Change rain, we got a seven. Again, the pole just getting a little low at times. And then we're back onto another half 20 meter circle from A. But she's going very well. I can't, there's nothing that I can fault about this pony to be quite honest with you. <laughs> another lovely walk transition. And we got a 7.5, one horse's length back up into trot. Another half 20 meter circle. The judge said we had a nice rhythm and a 7.5. Now that transition there, we got a 9.4, eek. And then all the way down to A for another 20 meter circle, which the judge again just said we needed a little bit more suppleness. But for 25, I'm not complaining, bless her little con socks. Then we come back to trot between A and K, which we scored a 7.5 for. Again, pretty smooth. And then a transition into walk. 
and then it's across the short diagonal for a free walk on a long rain. Now, this is actually something that Sprite and I never used to do very well at all. Sprite never wanted to stretch. She could put her head down a little bit lower, but she's got good ground cover, good over track, and a nice swing, as the judges said, and scored us an eight. Then at C, you pick back up into medium walk, which you can see there, she just goes sm smoothly back into a, a medium walk. And we got a 7.5. At E, we do a transition to working trot. Sometimes Sprite can jump into trot a little bit. So you have to like really ask her gently, but she does that nice and smoothly and straight as the judge said. So we scored an eight for that. And then we come down for our final center line. And again, this is something I'm always thankful if we have a halt at X because otherwise Sprite is really waiting to know when to halt. But she stood there lovely and square and we again got an eight for that. Oh, she's such a good little girl. I had to post a picture of Spritey's collective marks and the comments from the judge because honestly, when I received this, it made me cry. I was just so thankful to be able to do a test on her again and like compete her really but for her to then go and score those marks get those comments and score that amazing amazing score literally was just like the cherry on top bless her cotton socks Spritey woo I've got something for you there you go you clever girl that's yours you won it you want that face? <laughs> Clever Spritey Woo! Thank you! It was very nice doing a voiceover with a test of yours for a change, not Miss Lola. Hey. Are we going to enter next month as well? Are we? Are we? He's like, just give me my tea. Mwah! Love you, oh, my little pony of a life tool. Pony of a life, don't you? Yes. Now to look for what, what test it is next month, and we'll do that, won't we? Yes. Shall we? Yes. Shall we do it? Is that yours? Is that yours? She says it's not food, Mum, so I'm not really bothered. Oh, nice yawn. <laughs> Absolutely love, love, loved doing a test again on Spritey. It's been so, so, so long. I can't even think when our, excuse me, when our last test was. Like, all we've ever done is learn cotton routines. Never. Spritey is tired. Um... <laughs> Only ever learned quadrant routine, so to learn a test and ride through it again on this one, absolutely just loved it. And can't wait to get next month entered. I wonder whether we should do one Spritey versus Lola. <laughs> Pop in the comments below if you would like to see that. But as for now, I shall see you guys soon. Bye!